Rice can be helpful in weight loss only if we consume it before our workout or exercise. Why? Because rice gives you quick energy. Therefore, you feel energetic while doing your workout or exercise after consuming rice. You can consume rice 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after a workout. But how much? Not more than one bowl. Because this one bowl rice will convert into energy. If currently you uplift 5 kg in a gym, try eating rice tomorrow, you'll be able to lift 7 to 8 kgs and muscles will grow faster. So, rice should be around your exercise and not more than one bowl because the extra rice will convert into fat. So, when rice will provide you with energy, you can efficiently do the exercise and will reduce extra weight. If you have diabetes and you want to exercise, can you take rice? Definitely yes. The only difference is you need to refrigerate the rice. Take out cold rice, heat them and then consume it. Why? Because when you refrigerate rice, the starch in them, which is responsible for blood sugar spike, due to which rice intake is restricted for diabetics, gets converted into resistant starch. The starch that increases the sugar levels in the blood changes to resistant starch, which means it gets inactivated. And now that rice can be consumed even by diabetics. So what are the ways to eat rice? Number one, don't eat at night. Number two, only take one bowl of rice. You can even eat twice a day, but not more than one bowl. Diabetics must consume it after cooking, cooling, and then heating. And white rice should be preferred as compared to brown rice. Why? Because brown rice has comparatively more heavy metals. Although people choose brown rice to get slim because of its high fiber content, which will keep their tummy full for a longer period, but I believe if you want this feeling of fullness, prefer roti more than brown rice. Multigrains. What are multigrains? Wheat, which is gluten, corn, which is GMO, genetically modified, soy, which is again genetically modified, and a little bit of oats and ragi because people talk about it a lot. Mixing all these, you are served with a multigrain flour on your meal plate. Your body is unable to digest the gluten and we are burdening it with GMO, oats, fiber and asking our body to digest it. How will it digest it? So, whenever you are eating roti, choose either only single flour or maximum two flours. But not more than two as every grain needs different enzymes and energy to get digested and the body feels it tough to recognize it all which then results in sleepiness, low energy levels, a burning sensation in the stomach, burping or regurgitation, acidity or even diarrhea. So the alternative to roti is chana atta or chickpea flour. You can consume chickpea flour or oats flour roti every day. The most effective tip if you have severe acidity is that neither oats flour nor chickpea flour will suit you till you do not reverse your acidity and improve your digestion. Start fermenting the pulses or dal and make their dosa. Add vegetables, paneer into it and consume these wraps. And with this, also take our betaine HCL. When gradually you will see the results in your acidity, then you can switch your flour to chickpea and oats. If you exercise, your body's protein requirement must be increased. Then my strong recommendation is to use pulses flour for roti. Guys, now I'm heading towards the conclusion. The conclusion is that if your goal is weight loss, first of all, carbohydrates. That should be around your workout. Before or after carbohydrates should not exceed more than one roti or one bowl of rice in one go as the extra one will convert into fat. If you have lower energy levels, then go for cooked and cool white rice.